When I was younger, I didn't know which way of questioning the world suited me the most. And because the academic system is locked in categories, I went to two universities and simultaneously studied astrophysics and fine arts. At first, I wanted a separation, then connection. My name is Ulrike Kuchner, and I am an astronomer and artist. Astronomy, that's the empirical and quantitative inquiry, and art, that's the aesthetic and emotional inquiry. I currently work as a research postdoc at the University of Nottingham in the UK, and I have actively worked in art science individually and in collaborations for the past 10 plus years. Now, the base for this presentation is the paper, The Value of Art Science, accepted by the Writing Visual Journal, Culture Journal. Art and science have points of contact and creative sympathies, but they play different roles in the human experience. So can art and science collaborate to help solve complex and wicked problems where a solution is not obvious? Yes, at the information gathering stage, a network benefits from maximal diversity. Art and science span the entire spectrum from the maximal random, so the arts with expression and peculiarities, what Karl Popper called clouds, to the maximal regular, the compact science with few free parameters, what Popper called clocks. And to me, art is a way to gather information and experiences, empathetically learned aspects of science. This is where I can feel and take risks and try methods or tools without a goal or vision in mind, stripped away from its intention. Art and science express themselves differently and they have different rules and methods or even goals. So creation and expression versus explaining empirical reality as experience. But there simply is a time where the scientific process and the art creation process are very similar. New knowledge, rather than repeating what we've learned from those before us, starts as an intuitive first-person perception. Those earlier phases are often missing in the production of science and can be found in art and science collaborations that share a common goal. Art is also a powerful gateway to personal reflection, which is a point where science can turn into art, into an experience, into a learned knowledge, into action. And people do things for emotional reasons, not for scientific reasons. Art is expression and protest and need. It challenges the given and is often the early warning system in society. It can lead to changes in the way we think about and comprehend knowledge. Art is often connected to taking a position, which is something that science can rarely do. When we experience art, we blend this bottom-up processing of features, which is typically the way we communicate science, with the top-down contribution of memory, personality, and personal context, which is typically stripped away from science. And that is why for science institutions, the outcomes of art science collaborations are primarily seen to communicate to the public and often perceived as art in the service of science. So collaborations between artists and scientists are obviously difficult because there is an imbalance of expectations as explained and misunderstandings or bias towards the other discipline. The worldviews and paradigms of the different disciplines are somehow sacred. Each community has their own ways of communication, their ways of expression, their levels of sharing. And in addition, artists are free to mix fiction with facts. The artist is not bound to scientific goals or facts and there is no obligation to produce truth or to serve the dissemination of knowledge which makes art science collaborations a unique aspect within inter and transdisciplinary research. So briefly, according to Uwe Voigt, there are three areas where interdisciplinary work operates. It can be established through common subject area, methods, or cooperation. And from what I've seen, the strongest point of contact for art science is the subject area. So often scientists explain their research and then the artist goes away and responds to it or gets inspired by it. But most of the time, there's no common cognitive strategy or understanding for outcomes or thought process or even meaning making together. Some artists also adapt the methods of the scientists, but rarely do the scientists capitalize the expertise of artists during these collaborations. And cooperation, so people supporting each other with their individual goals, that happens, for example, for exhibitions or for the outreach, but 
This is not the collaborative kind of work the complex or wicked problem needs if the shared objective is to solve this problem. So time and openness is key for social learning across disciplines. Just being exposed to the other will not guarantee a better outcome. We must confront our own prejudice and biases towards the other discipline, listen, and use the rules to integrate social information. I found that a mediator, advisor, or translator in a moderately sized group can have a positive impact by facilitating an ongoing exchange of information. And this might include clarifying the type of collaboration that the individual agrees on. So to summarize, interdisciplinary art science is constant cooperative relationship that often has one goal, to create an artwork, but beyond that for solving complex tasks where there are no demonstrated best solutions yet, including artists and scientists in the first stage of decision-making process is beneficial. And recognizing that art can push aspects of scientific research forward in the same way as the other way around reinforces the sense of involvement on a level playing field. Thank you very much. <laughs>